Neighboring Greene County, there's a sense of disbelief. Our Evan Millward is on your side in Beaver Creek, where people describe a rush to safety. Tonight, cleanup continues in my hometown in earnest, and boy, do we have a lot of work to do. You can see houses in this part of town, walls are missing. In other places, ceilings have collapsed, roofs are torn off, and just up this street, one woman tells us she and her husband got to their safe space just in the nick of time. I was going to turn the light on for you. Can't do that. It is snowing inside Pat Freeze's Butterfield Drive home. Insulation is everywhere, everywhere, but where it should be. You know, everybody says it sounds like a train. It doesn't sound like a train. It was just a huge wind and then everything breaking at the same time. Her attic is exposed now. A projectile punched a hole in her brick garage wall. She and her husband were inside this half bath feet away. I said, no, we've got to go in now. And he got in, we closed it, we sat on the floor and it hit. Down the street. My damage is most likely we will be rebuilding a new house. Susan Profeta pulled into her neighborhood just after the storm hit. I don't think people knew what to do. I don't think anybody knew where to begin. And half people don't have homes anymore. We have seen so many volunteers ready to help people. We are close to Wright Pad, and a lot of our Air Force men and women have been out here helping their neighbors as well. As a hometown boy, I'm proud of this city. In Beaver Creek, I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.